Hello, welcome to the Minecraft server creation tutorial. First what you want to do is go to minecraft.net. At the moment the website was offline, but they still had the server download. Click it so you get the download. It's normally at the bottom of the page. You want to save that file, place it wherever you want, but it's better to put it in a folder because it creates files when you open it. I just saved it to the downloads, then dragged it to my desktop. It's where everything goes, as you can probably see from there. Okay. I'll open that later. Just drag that down there. Even though it's messy, I still want to keep it neat. Okay, open up a new tab on my Firefox. This is my router default. I'll open that up because you need to port forward the default port on the Minecraft server, which is 25565. So I'll go down to port forwarding. It depends on what router you have. Router, I say router. It depends on what router you have. But most of them are laid out the same and most of them have the same number and password to get in unless you've changed it as you can see there it is, I've named it Minecraft the start port was 25565 and the end port was 25565 and the IP address I've added it to 192.168.1.11 is the IP address that is static on my computer so it will never change so I'll delete that and create a new one just to show you how it's done on a Netgear router. It takes a while, my computer was going quite slow today. So add custom service. Server name, I'll put Minecraft 2. TCP UDP, you want that. Put 25565 in both portholes. <laughs> server IP address I'll cancel it because um, I've already got one set up so I'll close that this is where I set up as you can see there it says fail to load ban list fail to load fail to load that's because the files haven't been created on my desktop they're in the minecraft things folder instead I didn't think that through when I did that that's why you want it in a folder because it creates new files so I'll open that again because then it will not say the f failed to find folders and then it will run you might have to open it once or twice run it as administrator but after that it should say the server is running wait a second there we go that message there the warning it is it always says it on most servers most of the time it won't create any lag but it does say it okay if you don't want to show people your IP address you'll go to dyndns.com I'll log in with my old account I've already created one the one I create now doesn't work but I'll make a new one here test minecraft.dyndns.org I won't show you my IP address I'll blur that out in the video I'll try to hopefully okay it's created this one doesn't work but the other server that I created does I don't know why this one didn't work So I run the server, open Minecraft. There we go, I log in. Press multiplayer. As I said, this one doesn't work. I probably typed something wrong, I don't know. But I got failed to connect. If 
but I'll try my other one. The Minecraft dot org and it'll connect. Logging in and there we go. Server was going pretty slow today. I had too much stuff running on my computer. But that's basically how you do it. That's the basic concept. You can edit things, but that's how it's done. Well that's how I did it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy.